Oil production hit a record level, 12.9 million barrels a day in America in 2023. Senator Dan Sullivan, Republican from energy-rich Alaska, joins me now. Mr. Senator, to me, that looks like a successful energy policy despite Biden. Nearly 13 million barrels a day for the year. What say you? Well, it is successful, Hugh uh, Stugan. By the way, good morning. It's, it is successful, but it's in spite of the Biden administration's policies, not because of them. Think about it. From day one, this administration has been focused on shutting down the production of American energy, particularly on public lands. That's a huge issue in Alaska. Delaying uh, infrastructure like pipelines, pressuring financial institutions not to invest in the American energy sector. That has been their policy. And now you see this latest uh, policy that's going against the energy sector and our allies, and that's this so-called pause on LNG permits. That's exactly the wrong policy at the wrong time. American energy, as you and I have talked about a lot, Stu, is one of our great strengths. And to call for a pause on the exports of LNG at this moment is a really bad policy. Mr. Senator, as I understand it, you were in Europe recently attending a conference. How do yes. European, European leaders there, how do they feel about Biden's freeze on liquefied natural gas export permits? How do they feel? Well, they're really angry about it. And I will tell you, I met with senior European officials at the Munich Security Conference co-led a bi uh, bipartisan delegation of senators over there. And that was one of the biggest things we heard, which was, wait a minute, you Americans have been telling us to get off Russian oil and gas after the brutal invasion of Ukraine. We are doing that. The Germans, as you know, Stu, have, two years ago, the chancellor of Germany told me they were 50% dependent on Russian natural gas for their power generation. Now it's zero. And a lot of that is because of American LNG. These allies of ours were apoplectic about this new policy. And I'll tell you this, it's not just uh, European allies, it's Asian allies. I met with a senior Asian official, I won't name the name, he called it an American betrayal of them. So this is exactly the wrong policy. And what does it do? It drives our allies into the arms of our adversaries, Russia, Iran, Qatar, they're all looking at increasing exports to them while we're looking at making American exports of LNG a lot more uncertain. Makes no sense unless you're a green. Makes no if, sense. If you're a green, it makes sense because they don't want any fossil fuels at all. Certainly not made in America. That's the way it is. And one more for you, Mr. Senator. You confronted Biden's new climate czar about security risks in Biden's green agenda. What security risks are you talking about? Well, look, uh, I, I sent a letter with a number of prominent Republican senators uh, yesterday to Mr. Podesta, who is the key architect of this far left policy, this anti-energy policy. And we described exactly what their LNG pause is doing. It's undermining American workers. It's undermining the strength of our economy. It's undermining our allies. And here's the other thing, Stu. It's undermining the environment. You know, with the uh, increase in American production of natural gas and the exports of American natural gas, we have been the leader, America, the leader in reducing emissions because of that. So this is a lose-lose policy. We wrote him saying you need to lift it right now. Our allies are in agreement. And by the way, it's not just Republican senators. I know a lot of Democrat senators who agree with me on this as well. It's just a failed policy. It shows that the far left of the Democratic Party is once again driving energy security and national security policy for America. It makes no sense. You got it. Dan Sullivan, Republican <coughs> from the great energy state of Alaska. Thank you <coughs> for being here, Mr. Senator. See you again real soon. Thanks, Stu. Yes, sir.